so in our preparation for getting ready for this game tonight, we told the team the emphasis was that they were 15th in the country last year in tempo, meaning it was going to be uh, a race. Um, and if they outran us, they would win. If we outran them, we'd win. And fortunately for us, we ran very, very well, very efficiently. We shared the ball very well. And uh, we had a hard time stopping them, though. Uh, they shot 50% in the first half and uh, 40, oh, 50%. 50% in the first half and 46% from three. So it wasn't like our defense was locked down, but we just kept scoring at a high rate. Questions? Talk about, uh, two people I want to ask about, Lynn Kidd and Devine. Yeah, Lynn Kidd played, played like I, – I, I'm hoping he'll play like that all year long. Now, he's not going to always you know, get the ball that, that easily. The court was wide open for him. Uh, but he's very efficient inside, has been uh, all summer and fall. So we're very, very pleased with his performance. I like that he rebounded. He had nine rebounds, and that's really important. Uh, he and Brandon really do a great job of playing well together. Uh, and who's the other one? Divine. And Divine, I told you earlier, we were going to redshirt him. We thought he was you know, a guy that would be uh, good on the scout team, but he just has impressed us and, and keeps getting better and better. And you saw what he did today, and, and uh, I think – his size, speed, athletic ability, and ability to get the ball to the rim is very, very good. Jim, I think you mentioned at Media Day that you know it'd be hard to kind of tell how all these new players would mesh together until they start really, you know, playing other other teams. You have an exhibition game and now the first game of the season under your belt, uh, going pretty well so far. Just what have been your thoughts on, on how well they've gelled? Well, I, I think what helps us is the speed of the game because then I can utilize my bench. And you score, the bench scored 39 points. I mean, we've never had that, right? But you can't do that unless guys are running fast and playing hard and, and need rest, like Nigel bringing the ball up the whole game against pressure, full court pressure. So he needs rest to, so he can play at the top of his game, and Devine was able to give it to him. And so those freshmen, those three freshmen, Devine, uh, Jalil, and Austin, were able to give some guys some quality rest. Plus, we had uh, Matt Cleveland and Paul Jobay off the bench. And those, those two guys are experienced veterans. But Matt is just coming back. Uh, he missed 17, 17 days of practices. So um, he's played very well. He had four dunks. Uh, that's pretty unusual when you come back. Your thoughts about the team's performance on the defensive end? You know, force a lot of turnovers and capitalize offense. Well. Yeah, we ended up forcing uh, 15 turnovers, which is is, is good. But uh, you know, we need to do a better job of recognizing what the opponent is trying to do and then make that job difficult. So for a couple of guys like uh, Dylan Jones, he was five for ten from three, and we told our guys, the guy's going to shoot a lot of threes, and he's really good if you don't. If you don't get out there and make a miss, he'll make it. And he did. On the other hand, some of the other guys, like uh, Terrence Brown, he's a great driver. Right-hand layups, left-hand layups, getting in the paint. And he ends up with, with uh, 18 points on, on 14 shots. So he was very effective. We're going to have to identify the opponent's strengths and try to minimize those. No, our, our, our strategy has always been the same. We want balance. We want to score inside. We want to score outside. So I think if Brandon Johnson had not gotten into early foul trouble, he would have scored the ball more effectively as well. He, he ended up with only uh, seven points, but he had nine rebounds and played only 20 minutes. I think he's, he's going to be a very big key for us. Lynn's ability to get to his left hand, uh, regardless of opponent, I mean, how much uh, of a weapon is that for a big? Well, I think that the, the thing is every opponent is different. Some some people might front. Some people might trap him. You know, we just got to see, and, and we're preparing for all those things. But uh, until you play against a team that does it well and they do it all the time, you just don't know how our players will respond. But hopefully good. How about Nigel, the way the way he's playing? He's, in he's our leader. I mean, at timeouts, I said to him, hey, what do you want to run? Because he's the quarterback, and he's our, our Tom Brady. 15 points tonight from uh, Jared Blackman. Just what do you 
you think of his debut? I thought Jalen was very effective. I think he and Nigel play very well together. The issue for them is neither one of them is a big rebounder. You know, you see Jalen had, had what, one rebound, and Nigel had two. Their size, and they, they, they're not rebounders. They don't think rebound. So as we play against bigger teams, uh, we're going to have to make some decisions. And then Paul Jouvet, three offensive rebounds off the bench. Just his activity level, his motor off the bench. Yeah, his, his energy level and contribution at both ends. I mean, he had a very important job tonight. He, he uh, when Brandon got in foul trouble, Paul had to take his place and play at the four. One more. Is is Lynn Kidd better than what you thought he was, or did you no. know? No. You knew when he played at Virginia Tech. You, you, no, I, I. You know, again, you're only talking about one game. Right. Yeah. So we we need a much larger sample size to see how. Uh, teams will defend him, right? But in practice, I told you, he's shooting 70-something 70, 70 percent in practice. So what you saw tonight was he went, he went 10 for 11 in practice. He goes like 10 for 12.